This five minute maths training video is an extract from the online session, Sequences of Challenges to Build Mathematical Problem Solvers in Key Stage 2. We join the video where we tell the story of a lesson involving year six children. They've already seen one example that explores the deep structure of the question they're going to get to in a smaller number range. And we come in as we explore these shape puzzles. We look at a circle plus a star equals 14. Um, now I want you to say this, what the circle is worth or what the circle could be worth and which shape is worth more. And we want the children to get to essentially that we don't know the value of the circle because there's two unknowns. Um, we've got different things that it could be worth and we don't know which has the higher value. The children might just think the circle is more because it's, it's bigger. Um, and then that builds us into this task here. So have a look at this here, these three lines, and see if you can figure out which shape has the largest value and which shape has the smallest value. And how do you know? So again, if I give you a moment there. And so the kind of observations we get to is the star will be most because the two lines of the star in have the highest values and the opposite, the inverse reason, the circle will have the lowest value. Um, but we don't know the individual values. And then to focus children's thinking in, we, we have a look at this and say, well, what, what can we notice here? What, what can we see from this? What's the same and what's different? And focus specifically, well, what's the same? What's the same? And where we're pointing to is they both have circles even though they're in different positions. It's obviously easy to see if the circles are aligned. Um, and so we can see that actually the star must be worth three more than the square. Star is worth three more than the square. Um, and so then we focus in just on, and, and there we have the, both have a circle, the star and the square, three more. Um, and so then let's bring in that, that star and the square. Um, so we know that the star is three more than the square, and in total, that's the sum of 15. So there we go. Um, the star is, and you can see this technique coming in from, from before, the star is three more than the square, in total that's 15, um, so their values must be nine and six, difference of three, sum of 15. Uh, and from there, of course, we can work out the value of the circle, and we get to that being um, five. And so fairly directed here, um, again, trying to uncover the kind of deep structure of the task that we're going to get to, which is here. Um, so if I can give you a moment to have a read of it and think about how children might start off if they hadn't seen that build up or now that they have. And so again, now children start exploring. And if I just show you an example um, of, of this. So if we have a look at, on the right hand side, we have J subtract S equals 10. J is 10 more than S. Because if we have a look at that, the first two lines, they both have Ben in. Um, but the second one, we have Jack with Ben, and that is 10 kilograms more than Sam with Ben. Um, so then we can have a look at that last line. Sam and Jack weigh 80 kilograms in total. We know the difference in weights between them. You can see the bar model that, that really breaks that down. And here, to this point, fairly directed, you could say. Um, and again, the worked example just demonstrates that in those differences, Ben plus Sam and Ben plus Jack. And so we're seeing the difference between Sam and Jack is 10 kilograms, um, which hopefully, again, the bar model will essentially help to present a visual representation that's pre-done, um, if you like, to show that Sam weighs 35 kilograms. Um, and then we get to the extend prompt. So again, now having kind of built the conceptual understanding, we have this vehicle for opening up and deepening. So again, if I just give you a moment to, to read it and have a think. And again, child's work here. So we have, um, well, Alice, Julie and Steph must all weigh 40 kilograms. That says you disagree because Julie could weigh more and Steph could weigh, could weigh less. Um, but Steph and Alice, well, they must weigh the same in, in this instance. Um, and we've got, you know, explanations to why that is. So again, we have this structure of we all build the understanding and then the extend, the explain the extend, extend prompts allow us to really, really deepen um, and go from there.
If you want access to the whole video, go to icmaths.com, training, online teacher training, and you'll find all the relevant information there. There's another little snippet of the training session itself and all the information about pricing is included here.